<clears throat> Hi there, um, I'm just wanting to do a little video and um, I think I want to talk about what I get shown all the time, you know, ever since this spiritual awakening at the age of um, 24, um, it's been relentless information um, about all different kinds of things and it's the same things all the time and, you know, one of the things I get shown is relentlessly is duality and that's because to understand non-duality you have to first observe um, duality and it's like you know you could be standing looking up at the sky that's a dual experience yet you're both connected you're both one you see and that's always going on see the reason you have duality or a, or a separate two is for infinite life manifestation. It has to reflect against itself, you see, um, to, to, to manifest love for itself. When actually, like I say, it's, it's just itself observing itself. Everything is actually just the reflection of this one oneness infinity. But yeah, that's why duality is apparent. It's like you have the nothing, but within that nothing is the something, within the something is the nothing. Everything just comes in and out of existence. Um, relentlessly, that's because there is no existence. It's it, best, if, if you start off as nothing, for example, um, you can only ever be nothingness dreaming you exist. You can't really, if you start off as nothing, then you can only ever be nothing. So within this, nothing must be um, awareness. It must be aware of itself. And the reason it's aware is because there's, there's a thing, actual thing that science talks about as well called reflector consciousness. And, you know, imagine nothing and then you've got the reflector. Now, this reflector, like your surroundings, makes you aware of what you perceive as yourself. And that then becomes the ego. The ego is the thing that identifies with whatever you are. So the self is actually no self. It's just an illusion, you see. Illusion from your ego, and the ego is non-existence anyway. And the ego is just that thing that identifies with something and, and thinks, oh, this is right, but then you change your, your mind later. So then it changes all the time. But if it changes so quickly, that, that means it doesn't really exist either. Um, so what this is, you know, from what I've observed through this awakening that I've had, is complete um, illusion. It's just a dream. It's like when you when you fall asleep, you dream. Then when you wake up, it's just a different kind of dream. Just the deeper the nothingness, the deeper the form. And you don't even have to be spiritually awake to, to observe this and to see that, that that's what it must be. Because even your separate God must have come from nothing originally. That means it can only ever be nothing. That means nothingness must, must be an infinite manifestation power. To just come up with something out of nothing. But yeah, and, and, and so when you've got nothing, you've got this, the little dot of something, the, the, the awareness, that then becomes the jewel. And that then becomes infinite life manifestation. And, and that's, that's, you know, um, how life is. Because, you know, for love to create, you have to have the jewel. Um, and that's why you've got the male and female are just oneness together. But the reason they're separated is so that when the male gets the female, he's, he's getting elements of himself and vice versa. And so it, 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 it creates this euphoricness of love. And that really is how life manifests from this kind of duality love that just is. And if you look around you, it's everywhere. Um... And that is the manifestation, the creator consciousness behind life. I get shown this relentlessly. But it's like, you know, if you just look around you, like I say, that you can notice, you will notice that there's, a, there's, there's duality um, everywhere. There's always a two. Even when you're around lots of people, there's, there's only a dual that you're experiencing. Either you and seeing lots of people, or you and something else, but there's always a dual within this one. The non-duality then becomes duality. You see, and that's, that's 
Um, this is just what, what I get shown this awakening. Now, not everyone that has a spiritual awakening gets the same information. Um, this is the information that I, I get ever since the awakening. Um, you know, and, and, and that's it. You know, and going to the subject of spiritual awakening. Um, that happened to me at the age of 24. And all it really did was, was before seeing yourself as a little person within the simulation, the matrix, it took me from now seeing that everything is me. And that's how you awaken yourself. You awaken yourself, you access this tiny spirit space, this infinite space, sorry, within you, um, by acknowledging that everything you feel is you. Everything around you is just there to expose your unhealed parts. When you're annoyed at someone, it's actually a reflection of yourself. So by paying attention to this, that's when you start to access your infinity within. Um, and that's how you awaken. But it's easy in theory, but to do it is a, is a different thing. You got to practice relentlessly. Um, I guess when I had this awakening, I probably wanted to get better, you know, and I wasn't going to take no for an answer. Um, yeah, and and that's it. But go, but going back to this duality, yeah, just just you know, it's always apparent, and that's how life is infinite because of this infinite duality. When it's actually just the one self um, observing itself. You're just seeing the different elements of yourself. Like when someone's in love with someone, it's actually just because they're seeing, they're attracted to the different elements of themselves that is currently, or they think it's missing. When actually diff those elements are actually within you. This is how when you awaken spiritually, you're not chasing things anymore because you realise that all is within. Um, and so you start, you're not chasing women, you're not chasing men, you're not chasing nothing. And so your desires changes. It's like you've got more of a desire to discover who you are and go on this journey rather than chasing people. And also, you know, most people when they're chasing each other, most people when they're alone and feeling that energy, when what you feel when you're alone is your own energy. And that's the energy you're giving to other people. And within there, if you just, um, you know remain in solitude, you'll actually start to find out answers for things. You'll start to improve your own energy. You'll start, you'll start to love yourself. Um, this is why I love being alone. And people don't understand it. The reason they don't understand it is because they, they don't like their own energy. And they, they subconsciously want to give that to the people. See, most asleep people are narcissists. That's what they are. People that aren't spiritually awake. And they want to take constantly from other people. They want to take your energy. They don't want to give nothing. They want to take, 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 take all the time. Um, they, we know asleep women will chase men. Asleep men will chase women. Not because they love each other. Because they don't like themselves. <laughs> so, um, you know, yeah. The spiritual awakening changed that for me, you know. Um... But um, I think I'm just going to end it there. Um, if you're watching, you're meant to watch it. And um, everything falls to divine order and divine timing. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.